Hey, you! I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. You are the people of the book. Look around. Look around. See all these people that you see? They the people of the book. They the right. chosen people of God and don't know it. Right. They don't know it. All these people. If ever you had hate in your heart, it was for a Negro. That's your actual brother. That's, a, that's another king. That's another prince right. of God. That's another chosen child. That's who that is. If ever you dogged the sister out, that was God's little baby girl. Bring it out. That's, right. that's what's actually going on in our community. Actually, but we under the curses. And we took, we left our heritage, we left our promise for a curse. Come on. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword uh -huh. among all nations. Among who? So how is it that we are an astonishment among the nations? How is that? Because the nations know who you are. They know plainly. No, them, them the Israelites. Yeah, they've been lying to over there, and they've been lying to over there in America. But we know plainly who they are. You go to other countries, you see blacks with in, in, in positions of in in, in uh, images of royalty. You see black images, cathedrals with black images on them, not white, black. But here you fed lies. You fed lies because you've been destroyed. The, the chains are off. Now you're destroyed. You don't care who you were. You don't care who you are. You don't care who your people are. You don't care how we fail. You don't care what we need to do to get back. We don't care no more, Sterling. We beat to sleep. We worn out. Let me give me that. Dude, Daniel was 725. Daniel 725. We wore out. This here, it had an effect on us. A lot of times we disassociate ourselves from us in this time, but we are so much worse. We are so much worse now than we were getting our backs beat on a, in a field. Right. You know why? Right. Then we knew who we were. Right. Then we knew who our enemies were, so at least we knew what to resist. At least we knew what was evil. We don't know what's evil now. You do what you want to do. You do whatever feels good in your heart. Even people in Christianity and Christian church, they say, God know my heart. But God told you your heart is filthy, right. wicked. Right. Ain't nothing good can come from any one of us. Nothing. That's what God told us. But we, whatever we think is right is right. Watch this. Come on. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. This is what happened to us in, 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 as, a, as a result of slavery. Watch this. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Who are we talking about? The same man that put the chains on our necks. Read. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And shall what? And shall, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. We were worn out. This had some effect on us, Sterling. You might think you good because you live in, what does it say you live in? Kaston. Carey Street. Carey Street. You might think you good, bro. But we are not good. We are not good. We are not good. If everybody, you, you, you know how that, you know how that, how that, um, what do you call it? That, 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 I'm going to tell you that, that, that understanding. If everybody, do you wish for all of your people to live like you? Huh? You don't wish for them to live better? You say, yeah. You say, you say yeah, right? But they're not. That's right. But they're not. That's how you know. You're not good, bro. None of us are good. That's right. None of us are good because as much as you wish for them to be good, it's not. It's nothing you can do to change their. It's nothing you can do. The only thing we can do is teach our brothers and sisters what happened to us that made us fall from who we were. Right. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. So when the Lord, so the Lord, knowing that Sterling, the Lord has a question for you. The Lord has a question for you. Give me um, Psalms ninety six. Knowing that, because you say that you wish for all your brothers and sisters to live like you, right? You know that's a law. That's an actual law in the Bible. A lot of us say we hate the laws. Like, ah, oh, man, you got to talk about the, the laws in the Bible. Most of, a lot of things in the Bible we, we do naturally. It's natural to us. We just teach ourselves to hate it because we hate God. You understand what I'm saying? And, and until you learn about God, it's kind of, yeah, all right. Because it's been lied about. You got Christianity. You got... Uh, Jehovah's Witness, you got all them things, they come bothering you and lying to you and all that. So I get it. But a lot of what we do is talk. We, we teach ourselves to hate God. You understand? 
We do a lot of things naturally though. Psalms 96. Uh, who shall write? 96. 94, I'm sorry. Uh, come on, watch this. So this is a question, Sterling, and, and you, brother, and you, brother, that the Lord has for us. This is what the Lord has for us, and our sisters as well. Because we can, it, it hurts to see our people go through the things that they're going through. And it ain't no, it's, it does not stop. Every week we mourn to somebody, man. Every week we mourn to somebody. Every week somebody dying, and not just dying, because everybody died, dying in the worst the, the most unhumane ways period dying like dogs rats and roaches that's how our people die on tv piss draining and pissing blood draining in the middle of the street televised that's how we die man and we used to that that this is used to that image of our people the way we go we're used to that now that's how low we are that's how far we fall knowing that and the little that you have, uh, Sterling, but you wish that your people could have the little that you have to be better than what our typical circumstances or situation is. This is what the Lord, this is, the solution is teach, your, teach the laws of God. Teach the, the things that it requires to get back in the grace of God, the good grace of God, right? So the Lord has this question for all you brothers and sisters. Come on. Book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil do? The Bible says, and this is the Lord speaking, which one of y'all going to rise up for me against evil doers? Right. Which one of y'all going to tell a brother, hey, bro, you lay with that sister, marry her. Right. Right. Hey, you kill, you better not go killing off in this neighborhood, bro. You better keep them, you better flush all that dope in the toilet. Don't bring that up in this neighborhood, bro. Which one of y'all going to do that? I don't live here. But which one of y'all brothers that live here going to do that? Which one? Which one of our sisters going to teach the sisters, the younger sisters, how to be modest? How to not end up a baby mama? How to not end up with a brother that don't appreciate them? How to end up with a brother that's going to be able to teach and deal with them? And all that entails with them? That's the job, that's the duty of the sisters. Come on. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who would stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Against the workers of iniquity. Because it's not about what we feel is wrong. It's not about what we, I, I, you know, I don't like how my man rocking them shoes and he got them, them fresh kicks on over there, man. You know, he can't come out here like that. That's not what the Bible is talking about. Iniquity means sin against God. Iniquity means what he said, dude, give me, go to Exodus 20. Go to Exodus 20. Let's get an example of iniquity. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day, and we keep we frequent this market uh, marketplace 14. Uh -huh. We frequent this thing on the Lord's Sabbath days. Right. That's what we do. But God said, and you might not know, but God said, do not buy or sell on this day. Y'all right. might not know the power that y'all have, because y'all may people might say, well, hey, that ain't my store. I don't own it. I can't. I can't close it. Oh, yes, you can. Right. That's right. That's right. Yes, you can. Legally. Legally. I ain't talking, because we know how to, we, you know, brother, you know, brother know how to destroy too. But I'm talking about legally. We can shut that place down. If this community says, you know, no, we got, the Lord said don't buy and sell. They gonna be, they, it, opening the store on, on the Lord's Sabbath day will become a bill to them. Sir. It'll become a pain in the behind right. to them Check if y'all stop buying from it on the Sabbath on the Sabbath days. They will have no choice but to shut it down. Right. And then on top of that, what do y'all need for us to put in here? What do y'all what do y'all want? Uh right. what's the prices that y'all will accept to pay in here? Right. That's right. God is trying to teach you plainly how to take back the kingdom of heaven. Right. He's trying to teach us plainly. But we hate order, we hate, we hate, we hate purview, we hate uh, supervision and order so much. We hate being taught, we hate the laws of God, we hate all that. Anything that looks like it's above the Negro, we hate it. We can't stand that thing. Watch this, come on. Now let's, give me verse 8. Let's find out what happens on the Sabbath, right? What is the Sabbath? Because we say, a lot of people we ask, what's the Sabbath? They say, oh, it's Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. True indeed. Facts. All facts. But what does that mean? What does that mean? 
The word Sabbath means day of rest. The word Sabbath means day of rest. So how is it, how do we rest? Do it mean go somewhere and lay in your bed and, and just go to sleep? If that's what that takes, if, if, you know, it's, that's part of it. Yeah, that's, right. that's part of it. But the Lord, he ain't just, he ain't just say something and then leave us out there. He, he gonna explain things like we babies. Because we just little babies, right? So he gonna tell us plainly what it means to honor the Sabbath. Come on. The book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. So it says remember. Why? Why? Because we got that Negro spirit in us. And we want to forget. We want to hate everything that's righteous. We want to hate everything that's God. So we forget. So he says remember. He knew that we was going to be rebellious and go into captivity because of our rebellion. So he said listen. Before it happens, I'm going to have to tell y'all, remember the Sabbath. Do not forget the Sabbath. I'm not playing with y'all behinds about keeping the Sabbath. So remember the Sabbath. Right? Watch this. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. So remember it. Brother with there's the Sabbath. Oh, it's Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. Yeah, that's true. That's facts. But he says, now remember, remember the Sabbath and remember to keep it holy. That's right. That's right. That's right. Remember to keep it holy. Watch this. Come on. But the Sabbath, excuse, excuse me, verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So in, for, for six days, we're supposed to labor and do all our work. Where we get that from? Is he a hypocrite in telling us that? That's the same thing. When he created the planet, when he created the earth and all that is in it, when did, how long did it take him to do that? Six days. What did he do on the seventh day? Resting. That's right. He rested. He is not a hypocrite. He's he, telling us to do the same thing he do. As is the father, so is his son. Like father, like son. That's what he's teaching us, right? Come on. But in the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. That's right. Which one of us are more powerful than God? That's right. He don't need to rest, but he understood what he wanted to teach his children. He understood what he wanted to instill in us. So he said, I'm going to be that example for my children. I'm going to be that example. And that's where he left us. Yes, sir. You got a question, bro? I can't hear you, bro. He lost his life. Basically. When he loses life, what you mean? Yeah, I'm asking you a question. What did he oh. lose his life for? Why did he so talking about Jesus Christ? Yeah. Go to Hebrews know. chapter 10. He, he lost his life. Jesus Christ lost his life. He died. Right? He didn't lose his life, but he died on the cross. He sacrificed his life. He didn't lose it. He gave it, of his, he gave it himself. So he didn't lose it. So, but he did that because before, for the atonement of our sins, or, or where blood had to be shed, right? It's, it didn't. It didn't teach when we when originally when we were dealing with the, the law of animal sacrifice. Us, if, if let's say I want to go and steal from you, so I would say like this: Look, bro, I, I would be like this here. Look, hey, uh, hey, how many how many sheep you got, bro? He'd be like, I got like I got like five. Uh -huh. Hey, can I get one of them? I pay you, right? All in it with the intent that I'm going to steal from you. And all I have to do to atone for that sin was make sure I'm good on the sheep. You understand what I'm saying? So Christ had to come and because before he died, what did he do? You got it for me? Yeah. And yeah. So before he died, come on. Hey, bro, don't let no distractions. Tell him to come over here too, bro. Right? So before Christ died, what did he do? Before Christ died, what did he do? He taught. Christ taught and he healed. That's what Christ did. That's what Christ did. Give me, hold that. Give me um, Matthew's 5. Give me Matthew's 5 and 17. Right? Before Christ died on the cross to be a sacrifice for our sins forever, right? He taught us. And what did he teach us? 
He taught us the same thing that the disciples taught us. The same thing. He taught us the same thing that the, 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 old, the old Testament taught us. The same laws. The only thing he did away with was animal sacrifice. Right. That's it. So now we, we have a consciousness of the sin that we're doing rather than, hey, let me get that sheep from you because I'm about to come up on my man right here. You understand? You know how a nigga do. That's what a nigga do. A nigga will make all type of ways and, and figure out just to go and do his evil. That's what a nigga do. That's what a nigga will do. Yes, sir. Watch this. The book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. All the prophets, I am come, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Uh -huh. So Christ said, all these things that, they, that you read about in the Old Testament, he came to do too. He came to show the thing, because who, who did they speak about in the Old Testament? Jesus the Christ, the coming of Jesus the Christ. So he said he came to fulfill the things that they wrote about. He ain't come to do away with them, right? Come on. For verily, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So heaven and earth both are still here. So all things written in the Old Testament, we must keep to the best of our ability. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.